Sort of a, a side effect of the, 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 the fight for patients' rights um, in our definition of patients' rights is obviously that we believe that patients have safe access. And something that has happened in that fight is that, that an industry has grown up alongside of us. And while there are, are operators that are putting their, their, um, their lives on the line that we celebrate every day at Americans for Safe Access, there are also thousands of workers that are a part of those businesses that are a, a big part of bringing safe access to patients. And to be honest, um, I never in my life thought that I would be helping to create a legitimate industry, um, but I have always thought that if, if, if I was going to be a part of that, it better be union. Uh, I better <laughs> and have and have um, uh, rights for the for the workers in those industries. And in the last few years, another partner that has come forward that I really think signifies the future of medical cannabis um, is our next awardee, uh, who has been fighting to create. And many of you may not know this. There's actually a division. Uh, in the international of UFCW for medical cannabis workers. Uh, it's not just locals anymore, this is a national effort, um, and one day it'll be international. A lot of, I would say most of the reason that that division exists is because of the work of, of one man. Dan Rush, everyone, round of applause. And you, Ally partner. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Mayor staff. Most of the people in this room have become my family. And, uh, and I'm grateful to be part of this family. I intend to do something uh, for and with this family that's meaningful for patients and for workers. When we talk about medical cannabis, we talk about patients, workers, communities, and, uh, and the people that we serve. So when, uh, a year ago this week, when the U.S. attorneys started firing missiles at us in California, instead of laying down and taking it, what happened? We all got together. We all got together and we created the Unity Coalition, something that had never been done before in medical cannabis and is rarely done in politics effectively. And, uh, and we did it effectively and we responded to a, a policy attack with a policy response. And I think we did a damn good job and everybody in this room is responsible for that. And I'll, I'll tell you that night of October 13th, 2011, I was sitting in my hotel room scratching my bald head, and, uh, and I was wondering, what the hell are we going to do? How are we going to do this? What is going to be the response? And my phone rang, and it was somebody on the phone that I had been hoping to hear from for a while, and she said one simple thing, Rush, what the hell are we going to do? <laughs> I said, uh, well, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I said, who is this? She said, this is Steph. I said, well, I'll tell you one thing. First of all, patients and workers are going to get involved. And then she said, why the hell haven't you called me before? <laughs> and I said, well, I got to tell you, Steph, I was afraid. <laughs> because my sister, because uh, we have a joke about uh, Steph and I, or she's my political wife, I'm her political husband. Um, we all know that, uh, aside from being a lovely sister, you're also a formidable, formidable opponent. And frankly, <laughs> I was afraid. So I quickly got it together on that call and I said, well, you know, Steph, the thing I, I do know is that unity is the one way to fight back with policy. And uh, so that's what we did. And we got on the phone and we called Steve D'Angelo and we called Dress. And we called many of the people in this room. We called uh, uh, Dr. Michael from APA. And uh, we called uh, Dr. Berman. And we called, uh, we called everybody that we could get a hold of. Frankly, we broke out the phone book and we started calling. And uh, we got it together to go to Sacramento and have a rally on the steps. And little did those U.S. attorneys know that they were going to be dealing with a first-in-a-lifetime unity coalition in the medical cannabis movement. And we are fighting back. And since then, we've seen the creation of C20. We've seen the creation of C8. We see three legalization initiatives on the ballot in states, and two of them are going to win. The third one might win.
Now, now I got to tell you, we're about medical cannabis, ASA and UFCW, but any step forward for cannabis, for the flower, for the patient, for the industry, for the movement is a step forward that we need. It's a fight that we need. Go ahead. I'm smart enough to shut up. I know when it's working for me. And by the way, we called Andrew, too. I forgot about you there, Andrew. <laughs> So, uh, and we're going to continue that fight. And I got to tell you, a lot of folks are used to me jumping up and screaming and yelling and pounding on tables and jumping in front of cameras and running to radio stations to do interviews. And recently, uh, I've been a little bit quiet. And I've been a little bit quiet not because I'm giving up. I've been a little bit quiet because we're regrouping. And I got to tell you, we're regrouping and we're coming back. And this time, we're coming back with battleships. We're coming back with destroyers. We're coming back with lobbyists. We're coming back with the labor movement. We're coming back with patients, and we're coming back with mainstream coalition, and we're gonna kick some ass. And we're gonna make... We're gonna make some progress. I forgot, we also called Rob Campia. We also called Cheryl Schumann. Um, we called a lot of people in this room. So I just wanna say, we need to support ASA and we need to support this partnership. We need to support the unity. We need to keep an eye out for freeze and review. We need to carry all of these, these balls that we have going in this case. I got to tell you, I, I watched one of the best legal arguments I've ever seen delivered. Alfred. By one of the best lawyers that I've ever seen do it. And I just have to tell you, it's a, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be part of this partnership. Steph, I love you. ASA and UFCW are married. We're going to continue to be. And we're going to have lots of children called statewide initiatives and policy and ordinances and, and uh, regulation. I can't thank you enough. And I uh, love you all. Thank you.